Okay, uh, Triple H. Oh god, what is he concerned about? I'm giving you a homecoming power card. It allow you to make any contracted superstar on your brand permanent. Don't waste it. Fuck you! <laughs> hey, Triple H! What about me? You want to go against both Ilya and Seamus this week. Damn. Okay. You can go against Ilya, Seamus, and CM Punk <laughs> in the main event for the title. Watch him lose. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking Roman Reigns. Okay, um. We're now Solo and Randy. Try to get their rivalry up. I'm gonna go make myself a proper girly drink. You already have one, don't you? No, or did you finish it? Finish it. Oh, trick's still injured for another week. Wah, wah, wah. Um. Damn, Adrian Bunk and Rangvold are already up to level 3 rivalry. Who's my least popular superstar? Colquinn. Well, that's uh, gonna happen. No. Trust me, it's not. Um, we'll have Kofi do more advertising. Jesus, let me fucking go to the next one. Um, I can do a charity promo for someone. Uh, I don't want a heel to do a promo, but my heels are all of my good talkers. <laughs> I guess Cody Rhodes, or Undashing Cody Rhodes will do a charity promo. Hey, you me. fucking losers. You want to support charity. <laughs> um, I hate that you have this homecoming card. <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know what I could do? Oh, get a legend. Get a legend permanently. <laughs> you could. Let's see. Damn, you got Utahs! You know, I think I'm gonna get Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. For one week. And then make... And then make him a permanent superstar. He'll be busy for two weeks. That's fine. I don't care. I got fucking Shawn Michaels as a permanent superstar. Fucking hate you. For $35,000. I hate you so much. Uh, who can you face? Uh, he is a eel fighter. So you can go up against any bruiser. So I can have him go against Sheamus after he finishes his rivalry with Stardust. Yeah. Was after this we'll have two or one more ma um one more pay per view before WrestleMania. Yep. Uh, I like my card. Hmm. I'm trying to just get like season challenges done. Yeah. Uh, spending a lot on promos. I'm having an advertising promo, having a charity promo, having a self promo. I guess a no holds barred match would just instantly get me. Yeah. You've had two already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my little girly drink. I, I'm not getting any power cards that I can use against you, though, is the issue. Mm -hmm. I have a couple in my back sleeve. Yeah, that will barely do anything, but yeah. Uh, -uh I can make you have to buy a power card. It's not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, Tamina. Oh. Our time with NXT 2.0 comes, comes to an end. Because I have, or no, extended contract. You're getting extended for two weeks? Yeah. Oh, he wants his time off. Damn. You can give him a week off. I'm going to ignore that one. <laughs> hey, she loves being in a casket match. 
you can do it. You can do it at the pay per view. Pay per views in two weeks or <laughs> in, in a week. But I was planning for her to be in a tag match because I wasn't doing anything with my tag champs. Well, don't you have her in a regular referee too? I do, but that's also with a tag champ. Well, I think you got to book her in a casket match in two weeks. But then I'm gonna lose someone. No. <laughs> I don't want to understand you want to show off your talents, but I'm the one who decides which matches to book. That's my job. I wish there was a gentler way to say that. She's definitely going to have a moderate to major decrease. <gasps> oh, so only a small one. I, I wish it was, like, it was nicer. Because, like, again... First yeah. of all, it was just a suggestion. Exactly. Second of all, it's also part of your job to listen to your superstars. So maybe you should correct that first. Oh, it isn't even. It doesn't give you the option to do one week now. Oh, you gotta get the decrease in morale. No, he's he's your highest morale person. He's at like a hundred percent morale. Who? Otis. <sighs> even with a major decrease, he's still gonna be happy. I'm gonna upset Otis. I don't know. He's such a sweetheart. I'm so upset. It was like a week. It's been two weeks. It's been two. A couple is like seven. <laughs> a couple is two weeks. I wish they told me. Now I feel like an asshole. Also, did you just give me your twisted teeth? Okay. I was about to say, I definitely finished mine, didn't I? Uh, oh, Otis, I didn't actually. I'm going to close my eyes. I can't do this. Okay. Moderate decrease. It's fine. Yeah, I get it, but why did you say earlier I'd be able to take the time off? You should have just given him the one week. I told you, you should have just given him the one week. <laughs> My baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I meant the other time. Least popular available giant. <clears throat> that doesn't matter, because I am not <laughs> reassigning any of my people, so... Okay. Legitimately, the only bad part about uh, the extreme difficulty is just how fucking much stamina each normal match takes mm. from superstars. I know. I just have them do that again. Have that be my mid card. Have them fight. Have that be my. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely feeling it now. <laughs> <laughs> just have them fight. Are you going to be fine if you turn the light off? No. I'm going to be so the brightness of the monitors. Mm -mm. Just can you turn the light off, please? I'm scared of the dark. So the monitor's for light. Thank you. This is too dark. I'm Thank trying to get you. a headache from out. Everyone else is oop, everyone else is fighting each other. I could do this just for now. You can do that with the running of my Chad Gable. I can. Thank you for helping me. Mm-hmm. I try to help you most of the time. No, you don't. If I notice you doing a fatal error, I will not help you, but... <laughs> Also, I'm should have done this. <laughs> should have done that if I knew <laughs> you were gonna fucking do that. If I was, if you knew I was gonna get a fucking homecoming card. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it. You can't. 
these are so good and you can't use them before pay-per-view. It like legitimately they have made it so that power cards are useless for the biggest events. Yeah. Like like But the thing is, they didn't nerf the biggest detrimental cards. Mm -hmm. They didn't nerf the Mick Foley card. They didn't nerf the raw card. And they have it so that the fucking uh Teddy Long card works for pay-per-views. Yeah. And the ECW card. All of these cards work for fucking pay-per-views. I didn't even put much alcohol in this, but Jesus. Mm. Okay, we have uh, Randy vs. Solo. One, two. Ring that bell. Randy wins again. Three-star match. Uh, Braun Strowman gets himself two popularity. We have Adrian Buck vs. Ringwald. <laughs> Kofi gets me 11k while losing two popularity in the process. We have Cole Quinn versus Slade with uh, Jackson Smooth running Jesus. on Slade. And Slade still wins. Mm -hmm. We have Cody Rhodes doing a charity promo for 3750 fans. And then we have our main event Fatal 4-Way for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Between CM Punk, Roman Reigns, Sheamus, and Ilya Dragunov. Uh -oh. Just looking at And this. CM Punk <laughs> is your new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> you know, kind of the best. <laughs> he is the best in the world right now. I'm so glad that last year, LA and I did not win the uh, Money in the Bank. <laughs> And I fear that Jey Uso's getting <laughs> the money in the bank. <laughs> Anyways, we got uh the TTs. I, I, so here's the thing. Because LA Knight versus uh, Logan Paul is going to be at SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. Which sucks. Yeah. Because Logan Paul does not deserve fame. <laughs> Hot take, but he does not deserve fame. He is a con artist. He deserves to go to jail. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I just have a feeling because it's in Logan Paul's hometown mm -hmm. that Logan Paul's not gonna lose the title to LA Knight. Mm -hmm. LA Knight should win the title. He needs a title. I don't care if it's just a mid card title or just a tag title. LA Knight needs a fucking title. I heavily disagree. I would kill myself before <laughs> I let that happen. <laughs> Like, the issue is, L.A. Knight has been in great feuds, but he has not won a single fucking feud. He won the AJ, AJ Styles, Styles feud. And he won nothing after that. <laughs> or before that. <laughs> He's beat AJ Styles at WrestleMania. Cool. What the fuck else has he done? He's lost every single title match he's ever been in. Yeah. He even beat the United States champion, let alone no, beat Roman Reigns for the title. Speaking of that- He couldn't be Austin Theory for the US title. Speaking of which, he made me go through that ass fatal four-way at Royal Rumble. Oh my god. Don't even get me fucking started I, on that Royal I Rumble. I went to the Royal Rumble and the We one, went to the Royal oh, Rumble. Oh, we went to the Royal- Sorry, I'm- This wine's really getting me. I already just started drinking. We went, and the Women's Royal Rumble started first, and I whispered to him, okay, now we can leave, and we laughed. It was not a joke. We should have just left. We could have beat traffic if we just left at that time. It took us like an hour to fucking leave the parking lot afterwards. I went, the mat, or no, the entrances started, and I was like, I'm gonna go get some food. And I came back, expecting to be like, oh, maybe I just missed something good. No. She missed almost the entire match, and I was just on Twitter the entire fucking match because <laughs> it was so boring. Like, this is making me not want to do any more of the big four pay-per-views. But I have to go to SummerSlam before I die. I just have to. I want to go to all the big four pay-per-views. Or it's... Uh, 
WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, SummerSlam? I would say Survivor Series over Money oh, yeah. in the Bank. It's you I would money in the bank. I would know? like to go to a money. I would in the like bank. to go to Survivor Series. But I think Money in the Bank should be not its own pay per view. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's only what two Money in the Bank matches. Like I know, like there's only two Royal Rumble matches, but the Royal Rumble matches are already going to be an hour long at least. Yeah. Money in the Bank. It's going to be <sighs> at least thirty minutes mm -hmm. with like four good spots, and then whatever yeah well, let me tell you about my hot take when we get to the pay-per-view matches that we're watching about world rumble or at least the world rumble i went to did you guys see Ch uh otis it, or it Cat Cat Gable? Gable jump otis totally uncalled for yeah fuck <laughs> can't be used before pay-per-view oh, that no that was only can't be used week 25 that's not fair no that like you can use it every other week you have it though <laughs> That was that, you. Oh, that was me? That was you. I need to go to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, this is you. Hey, my contract's up. Daddy! Can't say I've been loving it, but I'd be prepared to stay another five weeks for 58k. The fuck you mean you haven't been enjoying it? <laughs> he hates you. You have a moderate! I'm too drunk right now for this. Well, now this is your final week. Yeah, th th you just pissed me off. Oh, Tiffany Shred, things aren't working at NXT 2.0. No, 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 no. I'll do anything for you, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Unless you call me out. She owns 100k. You'll only be left with 100k for the pay-per-view. Trying to think. I've made a miracle in worse ways. I've made a miracle in worse ways. I don't even remember what the pay per view is though. SummerSlam? Is that what it is? Right. Yeah. I got a problem with Tamina. She's been taking my locker and leaving my stuff all over the locker. <laughs> I've had enough for her. I want to teach her a lesson. An instant rivalry sounds good. You can fight her tonight. You want to fight her? You want her to fight out the pay per view? Yep. Because. Isn't she your tag team? Yes. Well, I guess she is part of your tag team too. She's low. Who cares? If she gets injured, she's leaving. You know that, right? Yep. Uh, pre match. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I've done all my matches to see what I'm working with right now. Yeah. Uh, I will say, show logistics. You should do that now. The show? The show logistics. Get, oh. Get the pay-per-view arena. It's fast lane also. Oh, it's fast lane? I could have sworn it was. Uh, so you're down to only 52k. I could work with this. I could work with this. I, yeah. I've done worse. The best you can do is tables for every match. Yeah. What is the match? Extreme, extreme rules. rules. Yeah. So did they get rid of the extreme rules pay-per-view for fast lane then? Like, don't get me wrong. Less specialized pay-per-views is great. But I really want some traditional Survivor Series matches. <laughs> Give me a Raw SmackDown NXT Survivor Series match. I <laughs> fucking love that. Okay, let's see. So, tables. I know you're gonna do all extreme rules. I don't know, I might not. Stop lying to me. I'm being serious. Mm -hmm. I need to get like 200k. Well, I'm probably gonna do no holds barred match. Be honest. Which is also bar. which is also just an extreme rules match, but. <laughs> Damn, no holds barred. Okay, wait, wait. Let Let's look at these matches, and see which are all the same type of match. Can we? Can we? So we have extreme rules. False count anywhere. False count anywhere. Well, I mean, like, extreme rules, falls don't count anywhere. That's, like, the only yeah. difference. False you count could, anywhere. You can still use chairs and stuff for, yeah. for false count anywhere. So well, technically, this uh, the, extreme the, rules fall, or falls, or no, 
So false count anywhere is actually a more extreme, extreme rule. Yes. So we have extreme rules. Um, TLC. Yes. Except I think for TLC matches, specifically in this game, they're counted as ladder matches as well. No holds barred. Fucking backstage brawl. Last man standing. Well, last man standing is it's another one of the false count anywhere type matches. I would cons uh, I would still put it under extreme rules since you can honestly use tables and chairs. Honestly, casket, ambulance, last man standing, and false count anywhere matches are the same type of match. Mm -hmm. Honestly, even steel cage. I think all five of those are the same type of match. Where there's some just like special stipulation on the Ooh, win itself. These two have their. This is their match specialty. Uh, who? Ivar. Uh, Ivar and. Wouldn't that Charlotte? be funny if fucking Ivar wins the title and do a CM Punk move? Uh, I think it's more appropriate to call it a Medusa. Medusa. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Also, let's talk about the. Who killed WCW, Doc? God, I want to watch another episode. We know. So let's we, be we, real. We, we've only watched the first episode. We know who killed WCW. It's Eric Bischoff. It's Eric Bischoff. Like, it just is. No, I but think... But he, he literally just spent the entire time <laughs> being like, it wasn't my fault. I'm just a salesman. Oh, shit. That... I don't know anything about wrestling or how to run a wrestling promotion. I just know sales. Yeah. Die. But that's the fucking reason you failed! <laughs> Why do you fucking think you failed? You guys... Mm, I have a dilemma. They have a low-wool rivalry. But I have someone with three-star rivalry, but it's not a uh, You match. said Tiffany Shred needs... Or, you said that Scarlet has to face Tamina this oh, week. Oh, shit, yeah. I don't think it's gonna count the tag team, though. For it. It should. If it doesn't, <laughs> this game is bullshit. <laughs> I'll just do a call out for them. Yeah, just do a call out for them. And then anyone else fucking missing? Oh yeah, I didn't have that match going on. Damn, I don't have the tag team going since I'm having this. It'll be fine. I mean, you still have, what, four titles on the have line? have my most popular... I don't care. Also, can we please get a fucking women's mid-card? Please. Or like the main roster. Give, give us two. How does NXT have a woman's mid card before the main roster does? With main roster women fighting for it. Exactly. They just had fucking uh, Mia Yim fight for it. Like, don't piss me off, WV. You pissed me off real bad. Oh, this is funny. Call out and he's like, hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. We got you a bunch of t shirts. You want a Slim Jim? <laughs> Uh, no, it's definitely them being like, hey, ye we got ye howdy t shirts on the line. You're, you're gonna kill my buzz. <laughs> Golly. Okay. I'm getting another. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna change that. The... That should be good. Oh, are you saying it's about to be my turn? I wish I had enough money. I wish I want oh god, enough. you would have 2k for your show. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be the worst thing you could do. <sighs> but yeah, his contract expired. Oh, I need to get money for... You have two contracts expiring next week. Yeah, Tamita and... Uncle Howdy. I wish I could do contracts. Uh, at any time. At any time. Hate to be a broken record, but like in the old games. <laughs> Put me in front of 2K. I know what I'm talking <laughs> about. I can make this game so much better. I mean, to be fair, like, they're just progressively making this mode so much better, though. It's honestly because uh, uh, Xavier Woods and Tyler Breeze are like, hey, mm. hey, do this. Do this. <laughs> fix this. Do this. They need to say fix the cards. That's what they need to do. Honestly, I kind of... If if I had 2K22 
for PC, mm -hmm. I would do a comparison video of just, like, how much the mode has changed mm -hmm. since it first got implemented. Because it's so different. Mm -hmm. I am so tipsy right now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on over here, babe? <laughs> I didn't know I could get this long. <laughs> well, they're all all their contracts are expiring. <laughs> I think I I was bragging how much money you have. I don't think you're gonna have money by the time this is over. Um No. Rain Vault, this is your final week. Oh, I could have hired was harder for 9k. I'm just gonna not hire any of these people, honestly. God damn. Hold on. Yeah, after just... you're finished, I gotta show you something. Show me now. I'm literally just spamming A. <laughs> <laughs> show me. Oh, okay. So, my two people are in a tag team with this team. Okay. These are my people that I created. Uh, I... She's talking about her uh, cause. I made them half-sisters, and they hate each other very much. So it's gonna be funny that they're no, gonna tag I am... together. What happened? We brought a physical training. I mean, ooh. Oof. You can train up trick. Yeah, they knew who the best fighter was. And it's CM <laughs> fucking Punk! Best in the world! What do you get for your commissioner goal? Least part of the bruiser? A good yeah. card. He doesn't like me. Triple H liked me in the other game. Remember <laughs> when he gave me a million dollars and you almost shot me? <laughs> God, that pissed me off so much. <laughs> Here's a million dollars, just give us Alexa Bliss who's not even in a rivalry right now. <laughs> just give us Alexa Bliss who's not doing shit. I'm pretty sure it was after the pay-per-view too, and she had just finished her rivalry. Like, I can't get any cards against <laughs> you. Yeah, I mean, you could stack up for WrestleMania. That's partially what I'm doing. Like, I'm not- I don't have a lot of cards for- or I do have a lot of cards for you, but I'm mostly- Stacking up so that when WrestleMania happens, I just got things on top of things on top of things I can use. Well, to be fair, we're also not using cards against each other for WrestleMania. Not that we could anyway, yeah. but yeah. the only card that we could use against each other for WrestleMania is your one veto random superstar that you could use. Yeah. Which those are limited to one per I'm week. I'm pretty that sure you, could you, use. you go back to your power cards. It's you that got it. I could have sworn it was you. Oh. oh, I thought I had a special promotion. No, That's I it. have a special promotion that obviously I'm saving for. <laughs> WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Um, obviously that's gonna be my opening match. Um, do I have anything good? Yeah, I actually have some good. I have some good matches I can do. Not great matches, but I have some good matches I can do. Um, let's do a fatal four way here. We have Matador join in. We have almost join in. This is also going to be a fatal four way extreme rules match. We're going to add in Cody and Kofi for the title. This one, we're also going to make it a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match, because I can. I'm going to add Cole Quinn, I guess. And this is just going to become an Extreme Rules match, because I can. So yeah, this is going to be my match card at the very least. Mm -hmm. I have all three Did star rivalries except I told you you would. Only because it's only 20k. Mm -hmm. I, I, or 24k. Which, that's a nerf from last year. Because it was only 20k last year. Yeah. Yeah, but you want to do promo? Oh, you have a lot of people doing promos. 
100, 100 stamina. <laughs> well, I mean, like, half these people are fucking, uh, you know, developmental talent. Sadly, Shawn Michaels is unavailable. Sadly. I'm glad he isn't. But I have a couple people that I can do charity or advertise for almost with. That'll give me a little bit of a boost. <sighs> Ignore me. Don't don't pay attention to the max I'm fishing. The match I'm you're, fixing. You're the match you're fishing. <laughs> Are I'm pretty sure I, I said Max I'm bitching, but... Are you making it to where CM Punk is going to win the title? Then? Do you not ha have enough confidence that CM, that CM Punk is going to win? Uh, I want you to see what type of match it is. Mm, I see, I see, I, I see now. I see now. You, you see what I'm going for now. I, I see. What what's the thing for no holds bar? Does it have anything? Losers mm. injured for plus one. Minutes. Okay, so I, I see you don't want to take the chance. I would rather CM Punk be good so that someone can do a rivalry with him for my next pay per view. Yeah. Uh, because Roman Reigns, he's gonna be injured no matter what, pretty yeah. much. He's gonna be injured for sixteen weeks. So it is gonna be a plus one week injury to that. So. Yeah. So this is my match card. And all of my promos are working towards uh, season fans? goals. Oh, I thought you were meaning fans since you have no. two charities. Well, uh, I need a charity promo for my uh, season goals. Mm -hmm. I need charity and self-promo. Mm -hmm. Advertising, I just want more money because I want to try to get up to back up to 300k. Yeah. Okay, babe. Which match are we watching? We, hmm. I kind of want to watch the Ivar match. Because okay. I don't have a fixed match, and he might just win the title. We don't know. So you're going to watch Wesley versus Ivar in a <sighs> tables match for the North American title? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we still watch matches if it's fixed? I don't think we can, right? You should be able to. Um, I would like to watch the CM Punk versus. If, if we can watch the CM Punk versus Roman Reigns, we'll watch it. But we're gonna watch another match that I have as well. Is it before it? Yeah. Oh, it's well, the main so, event. So, yeah. so it's the main event. So like, I can't just like hope that I can watch that yeah. and then not be able to, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, thank Christ they're not the Viking experience. <laughs> the Viking experience! Also, them just having the random cars. fucking F1 cars. Oh, back to my hot take about the Royal Rumble. That Royal Rumble that I w or we went to was ass. It's the my 2024 Royal Rumble where CM Punk got injured by Drew McIntyre. <laughs> First of all, Bailey was the only good person that won that whole thing. She deserved it, ten thousand percent. I like okay. Here's my, th here's my thing about the men's rumble. Why do you have, why do you have Cody win for a second year in a row if he's just gonna give it up to Roman Reigns? No, not Roman Reigns. Or not the, uh, Rock. the Rock. Sorry. I'm sorry. They made Cody Rhodes for a slight second look like a little bitch. Okay, that's sick. Mm -hmm. That is some sick fucking art. Wesley as fucking Goku. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. They made Cody Rose look like some little bitch after having a hard Royal Rumble to be like, oh, I just want to give it to The Rock all of a sudden. You can just see the face of his disappointment when he should. The, the visceral disappointment in his face was just... Heartbreaking. You could tell they were gonna just go with the plans if it wasn't for the fans being like, oh yeah, Cody Rhodes looks like he just wants to shoot himself. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I'm so happy they actually listened to the fan feedback. Because, mm -hmm. like, as much as I did not like The Rock for the entirety, the entire lead up to WrestleMania, it was his best showing in 25 fucking years. <laughs> it was his best showing. I don't know how long he's been wrestling, but. Is his been best showing it at all? If well, it... he, he's been in WWE since like 
like uh, mid nineties. Like at least with uh John she Jesus. John Cena. John Cena. He at least shows that he cares about the sport. And he, he's so willing to put talent over. He'll at least, if time comes, he'll, cause, uh, he'll do, like, I'll show up or do a match once a year. Mm -hmm. At the minimum. But even when he comes, it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, I'm doing this just for a check. He's like, oh yeah, I'm here for the crowd. Ah. Yeah. The Rock just left to be a superstar. And he's like, oh... The I Rock, have this backup plan as well. <laughs> the Rock only came back because he paid fucking $35 million to be on the that's, board. Even before that, the first, the, the first I'm not, time... I'm not actually concerned that that's the right amount that he paid, but... The like, first still. time he came back, it was very much, oh, Hollywood's kind of hating my movies right now. Remember when I was in WWE? <laughs> but also, that was during the fucking writer strike. No, 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 no. I meant, like, uh, the WrestleMania... Oh, I uh, forgot what year it is. I'm too drunk. Him versus Cena for the first and second times in, in consecutive a WrestleManias. <laughs> Written in the stars. Like, man. Also, another hot take. The real hot take I was going to have. I hate um, Ru uh, Death Rebel. As much as I enjoyed... The Royal Rumble was so ass because of them. As much as I enjoyed the Women's Royal Rumble, it was... The only off thing about it, I didn't know who it was half the time, because all the music sounded the same. And for the Women's Royal Rumble, especially in the stadium, they had all of the Chirons fucked up for yeah. probably the first, what, 80% of the Women's Rumble? Mm-hmm. So we, didn't, we couldn't tell who was actually coming out for the entire first half of the Rumble, also, almost an, like it was probably until like number twenty-five. Also, another hot take: it's a mixture between WWE's fault and the stadium's fault. They had an ass way of showing off uh, the stage. I was expecting the stage, like normal, to be in the middle of the stadium. They had the they had the ring in the pitcher's mound. Yeah, which, considering half the arena was in the outfield. That doesn't fucking work. I, cause at least even on the map, it looked like it was in, gonna be in the middle. It, at least it, middle ish. And then they just made it at the fucking pitcher's mound, which means that all of the people who had, cause like we didn't even have like nosebleed seats. Yeah. We just had, like, we had the first deck of the outfield seats, which yeah. if it was a centralized, uh, uh, if it was a centralized ring, we would have had a great view. Instead, I spent $500 to look at a screen all night. Yeah. Like, I think... I, I think, think it's just the stadium's fault, though. Yeah. At least partially the stadium's fault, because it is a baseball ring. It is a baseball arena that has fucking terrible acoustics. Because, <laughs> like, watching it back... There was no sound being transmitted, but it was really fucking loud in the stadium. Yeah. Wesley, are you having a seizure? <laughs> Why did you stop? But yeah, uh, if in a better city. Also, it wasn't in Tampa, it was in St. Petersburg. Yeah. Just want to point that out. Tampa it, Bay. It's it's literally in St. Petersburg. They kept saying specifically it was in Tampa. It was on Tampa. It was in St. Pete. I something because I was thinking that oh it's gonna be at the Raymond James. Wouldn't that be fun? If it was in Raymond James and we had the exact same seats, oh it would be perfect. It would have been amazing. Because I went there for WrestleMania, and so I and I um I know how the seats are supposed to be. So if we had the exact same season, it would have been perfect. It's in the middle. Uh, but also, like, even Raymond James, like, nosebleeds. You still have a great view of the mm -hmm. field. I would, I would consider, I would consider myself nosebleeds, but it's not really nosebleeds. Oh, I was, I, a, I, I, the one football game that I sat in the nosebleeds for Raymond mm -hmm. James, we were literally in the 300 level. Like, those are, mm -hmm. those are the nosebleed nosebleeds. Mm -hmm. And we still had a great view. I'm pretty sure it was like one of Devin Hester's last games as a bear. 
what is it if if a good sh if it comes back to florida or there's a really nice state like chicago specifically rosemont rosemont's really nice the Austin arena but if a good oh, Austin arena is great yeah. if a good show uh happens i would love to go to a Royal rumble again it's just i had a terrible experience because the baseball field <laughs> yeah well, because Allstate Arena is a basketball stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, because that's where the Bulls play. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Either that's where the Bulls play or that's where the Blackhawks play. Either way, it's a good stadium. Uh, but a baseball stadium is just a bad place to yeah. go. Especially one as deprecated as fucking uh, also, Tropicana Field. if you hear on the news that your city's bidding on a fucking... Uh, pay-per-view spot from WB, it's going to the next city. It is like This happened with Orlando. This happened with whatever the fuck Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. So that was it would have been what, like Milwaukee? Yeah. Cause they have a new stadium coming no, out. No, not, not Milwaukee. Uh Minneapolis, sorry. Specifically because they have a new stadium. That's why they announced the Summer Slam so early that it's gonna go to them, because they have a new stadium coming out. Well they also announced or, it it's, they like, announced it so early because they Made it so that fucking Vegas was getting the pay-per-view that they were supposed to get. But literally, they, at least on my news um, section, they're saying how, oh yeah, Orlando put out a big bid for a WWE pay-per-view. And I'm like, oh, I get to go to Orlando. And then it went right to St. Petersburg. I'm trying to think of a good stadium in Orlando for a pay-per-view. I mean... Is there not only, like, one? There's a couple. Like, it could be in Camping World Stadium, mm. which is where, uh... Oh, he's doing another one! <laughs> he's doing another his other finisher. He did two finishers! <laughs> <laughs> he really wanted to oh, kill damn. one <laughs> Right on the head. Get him a concussion. Uh, because Camping World Stadium is where the uh, UCF plays mm. for football. Uh, but there's also, like, uh, where the Magic play. Mm -hmm. So, like, either one of those stadiums would be good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, they're doing the anime. Oh, this is so good. I, oh, I, they're I, doing the Trading Blows mini ooh, game. I didn't so, cut. He, he um, made him um, mm -hmm. bleed in that one. I never seen that before. Yeah. I've, I've seen that before. Right next to the table, too. I'm pretty sure one of the fucking showcase matches. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was, uh... Randy Savage versus Hulk Hogan. Speaking of which, I, for some reason, got in a oh, Trading oh, oh, Blows oh, mini oh, game. No, 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 no. Oh well, Ivar wins. Bye, bye, Wesley. Who's gonna win the ball? He's taking my dog. Here, here, he's gonna win. He's gonna win. He's gonna win. Rivalry, rivalry complete. complete, of course. Fuck. <laughs> Only a four yeah. star. Oh my god, that fucking traffic, though. The day of the rumble. Mm -hmm. Getting there was fine. Yeah. Getting there was perfectly fine. Leaving there was a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> Also, you got nothing for that rival or that yeah. for that call out. We have Scarlet is the Don versus Tiffany Strand and Tamina. Scarlet is the Don retain. Good. And Ooh. Tiffany Strand's injured for three weeks. I. I didn't put it off. You forgot to do the pre-match video. Oh, Maxine Dupree had an amazing promo. Though. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I said I was going to do it afterwards to see everyone how everyone else is. Stuff was oh my god. I have a health spa though. Or you mean an injury rehab? Injury rehab. I have injury I mean you need both, honestly. Yeah. Fuck. You have Otis and Gable. Come on. You're my four star rivalry. Woo! Gable wins. Complete the rivalry. And Otis injured for two weeks. You look bad person after declining and <laughs> injured. Uncle Howdy gets you ten K for four popularity. We have Raquel versus Katana Chance. And Katana Chance is your new champion. 
Kit Wilson, who's a seven popularity for only not uh a little under ten k. Damn. And then you have Gunther vs. Joaquin Wild for nine men match. Look, I'm very oh, drunk. New champion. New champ. Classic too. I, I think I have a perfect drama curve. Who do you want to watch? I was about to ask you which one you wanted to watch. Which Fatal 4-Way, I should say. I don't want to watch Randy Orton with Solo Skoa. <laughs> oh, let's do the one with the champion. So the Cody and Kofi one. So Cody, Kofi, Ringvold, and Adrian Buck? Yeah. Okay. So we have Randy Orton versus Solo Sokoa. Come on, Solo. Solo wins. Amazing. He gets his win back. Four-star match. We have Ilya Dragunov it, getting two popularity. Is it Randy a title holder? A uh, tag rival or tag title. Ah. Uh, him and uh Braun. Hey, you put in Braun in a match. Yeah. Your fans uh, can stop complaining now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly why you put him in a match. So we have Sheamus versus Stardust, which those two are in a rivalry. Mm -hmm. Sheamus and Stardust. Uh, Braun Strowman and Cole Quinn, which I do have three faces in this match, which kind of sucks. Pretty sure I have three faces in all of my matches like this. Three star, three star match is not bad. I know, but a three star match with the rivalry complete in it. Mm -hmm. She got me not dog bad. shit. And then here's the match you wanted to see: mm -hmm. Rainbold versus Adrian Buck versus Cody Rhodes versus Kofi Kingston for the ECW World Television Champion. Is it the World Champion or is it the North American title? It's the World Television Champion. World Television? I don't know. And this might be a, it, it's a box. <laughs> it's, it's the mid-card title. It, no, this might be a Celtic situation where it's, they're the world title holders. <laughs> uh, but nothing. <laughs> okay. You're just... Spectate. You're just being fucking pedantic if you say they're not the world champions. <laughs> are they, did they beat a team? Are they in Team USA? Literally everyone from the fucking European leagues comes to the NBA to compete. They are world champions. <laughs> like, if you look at who is in Team USA, it's going to be like three Celtics players. And then all of the other fucking uh, Olympics... Uh, teams are going to be made of fucking people in the NBA. Like, Giannis is always going to be fucking Team Greece. But he competes in the NBA because that's the highest level of, of competition that he's going to be able to face. Was I, my third eye opens up when I'm drunk, when I set these matches, and then right at the end, it just goes down. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot like five other things to do. <laughs> you say as I have five empty cans next to me. <laughs> I know. It's something about this wine. It's fucking up my head. And I haven't even drank I mean, a lot. It is like 13.9%. Yeah. And yours so. is five, so I understand the, how that much is finally getting you that much. That makes sense, right? Okay, I like Adrian Buck's kind of opener there. That was kind of that was kind of cool. Like, that was something I'd expect to see at NXT. Mm -hmm. Also, Joe Hendry showing up for the NXT uh, number one contenders battle royal. His name and he appears. Ooh, that sounded rough. I don't want to hear my voice in this video. <laughs> and then immediately losing. <laughs> like, it was funny. <laughs> he did say though, though he cut a promo and went backstage saying this is not the last. Or he didn't he, say the last thing, but he did he, say he went backstage and confronted Shane or not Shane, uh, Shawn Michaels. He, he confronted Shane O'Mac. <laughs> <laughs> he confronted Shane McMichaels. <laughs> <laughs> he did say something about showing up in other places, which fair. I, would... I don't think Joe Hendry should be close to the NXT. Yeah, Joe Hendry. Probably deserves like a U.S. title run. He he, if, deserves, if, a US, he deserves a SmackDown U.S. title run. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it would be amazing if he mm -hmm. weaseled his way into a triple threat match mm -hmm. between fucking L.A. Knight and Logan Paul and won it. That'd be funny. Mm -hmm. Also, what is it being only for a U.S. title shot? Is it a diss for anyone, or even like an Intercontinental shot? Honestly, there's just so much talent at WWE now. Mm -hmm. Like, as much as I hate Logan Paul, 
He is a very talented athlete. I know. I hate it. I hate how good he is in the ring. I fucking hate it. I can't be a... I, it's so hard to be a hater when he's so good in the ring. <laughs> That's like half the wrestlers I have a problem with. They're good. Except Karrion Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Karrion, I, I will say think that's right there. <laughs> I will say, Karrion Cross uh, talking about Chad Gable after uh, what happened on Monday Night Raw, which I this should be going up before the next Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. Uh, Karrion Cross talking on Twitter about it is just so funny. That's not gonna keep the leader of Alpha Academy down. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Karrion Cross fucking sucks. Not, no amount oh, of matches. I, for, I forgot that that's what fucking uh, dashing Cody Rhodes' intro his was. Dashing one, he had a mirror. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like, he's hideous in the, in the commentary. But yeah, no amount of hype, no amount of Roman Reigns matches that they try to put him in are gonna change the fact that Karrion Cross sucks. Adam Cole said it best. He sucks. And I'm gonna find a way to get his wife away from him so that she can shine like the star she is. Like, here's my thing. On Harry APA or whoever the group that he's also with, I need to get them away from Carrie and Cross. There, he's down. He's ruining them. Okay, so here's the thing. Harry and Cross could have been a great, like, member of any heel group, but as a leader, I was just about to say that too. As a leader, he just kind of mid. Exactly. Like, he would have been a fucking great member of the Wyatt Six. Hate that name, by the way. There's <laughs> five members. Why do you call it the Wyatt Six? Also, it's six. S-I-C-K. S-I-C-K, the number six. I <laughs> fucking hate that. But, I digress. What is it? I will for- forever be a Kendrick Lamar level hatred for carrying cross every other wrestler i'll be like yeah they're good i just don't really really feel in them or i can see past the WWE line no i hate carrying cross <laughs> like the thing about carrying cross is he's a decent wrestler but like decent? yeah he's a decent wrestler i mean like he's not necessarily at the i'm he's like la night level wrestler i hate la night uh, um, I like LA Knight enough to say that he's better than <laughs> Karrion and Cross. I think they're at a similar level of wrestling. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily to knock LA Knight's wrestling mm-hmm. skill. But it's to knock Karrion and Cross's. <laughs> it, it's more to uplift Karrion and Cross's, honestly. Because mm-hmm. Karrion and Cross does get a lot of unwarranted hate. I'm trying to think. Um, he, he reminds me... Of the first name that thinks of it is TJP. It was this random loser cruiserweight. All the hype in the world, but he sucks. That's my hot take. I have a hatred for Karrion Cross that no one will get. <laughs> so, like, the thing is, I was really interested in Karrion Cross's promos when he first came back mm-hmm. after he got re signed. And then, just like. Here's the thing. It led into the Uncle Howdy stuff. Yeah. Like, his fucking uh, promos before he came back gave way, gave birth to the Uncle Howdy promos for this most recent run of Uncle Howdy's. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. To argue about that, I feel like his wife is the reason for that. I feel like she... Well, I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, the actual, like, promos he gave. Mm-hmm. I'm talking just about, like, the little fucking, uh, like, clock shit that happened. His wife! That's his wife? That's his wife! Like, he'll touch it sometimes, but most of the- most of that clock shit, it's mostly his wife. Ringwall just threw a garbage yeah. can in the ring. That's what I'm talking about. I need to save Scarlet away from her husband. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, here's the thing. Karrion Cross has only really done one thing since he came back to WWE. Lose. I was gonna say, feud with Bobby oh, Lashley oh, oh, oh. and lose, but yeah. He's gonna do a, a suicide dive. Ooh, what? 
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why does he look vaguely Asian? <laughs> I don't know Adrian Buck's lore, but he looks <laughs> vaguely Asian there. Mm. To be fair, that's a problem I have with a lot of the cause. Mm -hmm. Like, they kind of just look vaguely Asian. I will admit, if mine does look like that, like that to the point where I've just said that, that they're just Asian. But honestly, making the face sucks. I just um, hope that every year the face templates are good because I'm not doing all that face <laughs> shifting shit. I have stuck to my preset um, face claws, and if they change it next year, I might just cancel. So, so here's my thing. Even when I've tried to make, like, male claws, mm -hmm. they've always just looked vaguely Asian. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just think it's a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Kofi doing a Superman punch is so funny. <laughs> but he, but he ate that. <laughs> Oh my like, god. Like, my thing is, like, they just all kind of look vaguely Asian, unless you do the- you spend the time just, like, actually sculpting them. Or doing the face photo thing, which, at least- The face photo thing almost at, always looks bad, though. At least to me, I envy the people who know how to do it, because every time I've tried, it just looks bad. Anyways, back to what I was gonna say. I have a bone to pick with Triple H. Every time a new person comes in, or every time a new faction comes in, he's afraid to give them a win on a pay-per-view. Damage control. There's I, more. I, I, I'm just too I, drunk I, I, did, I didn't watch damage control. They, every time... Uh, I mean, Authors of Pain versus... Yeah. Uh, uh, the Pride, I yeah. think is what they were calling Bobby Lashley's group. Mm -hmm. It was just, what, the Street Profits plus, like, a couple people? Yeah. Like, they don't know how to have these new teams that they're obviously setting up. Like, I understand if there's, it's like, multiple also, uh, new... Undashing Cody Rhodes just bled. Yeah, I bet he's upset about that. <laughs> I understand the WrestleMania match, because it's technically, both of them are new even though the Street Profits are just two groups added into one. But at least with Damage Control, they're just losing matches to random-ass groups. Why did Damage Control lose to Shotzi, Bianca, Becky? I'm too drunk for this. Again, a random set of people who like, aren't in a team. Like, I understand WrestleMania is the time where you want all your faces to win. Yeah. But also, Ooh. like... Ooh, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's one of the reasons why I actually liked the tag team match with Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, and them. Mm -hmm. Because it actually had the faces lose. Yeah. It was one of, what, like, two matches where the faces lost? Like, that's my problem with damage control. I really like damage, damage control, but they weren't really doing that much damage on pay-per-views. Honestly, it's kind of a fault with them having too many heel factions. I mean, yeah. Like, it's easiest to make a heel faction, but you need enough face factions to actually go up against them. Yeah, I just wish that they would at least... Because it's like, I feel like if you're a heel, and you're not like super stardom level, like, like literally like Roman Reigns type level super stardom, it feels like you're just... You're just set up to lose. Set up to lose. If you, yeah, exactly. But like, that's that's literally just the issue because they don't have enough baby face factions. Mm -hmm. Like, you need a fucking Cody Rhodes led faction to actually get them to have traction. Like, because like, mm -hmm. it took until Maxine Dupree started wrestling for uh, Alpha Academy to really gain a lot of traction. Yeah. Yeah, I just hate that damage control. I just hate that in story, damage control kind of blamed Bailey for all this shit. And then when everything's said and done, they're still losing. That's crossroads. Are you just gonna let him win, Kofi? <laughs> Come on, Kofi. Exactly. Oh, Jesus. Stop the pin. Yeah, after WrestleMania, they just kept losing. I mean, what is damage control as a faction really? done since exactly. they lost Bailey. 
Nothing. I mean, I was in the um. Money in the bank qualifier, and she just won that. I was gonna say the Queen of the Ring qualifier, and she lost that. Asuka's out right now. Dakota Kai is back, but they have her barely wrestling because she's still she's fixed from her injury. But like, they still have her barely wrestling because of that. And then Asuka and Kairi Sane lost to give Bianca and Jade some credit. Exactly. But like, since like, what to be fair. The post-WrestleMania era of this new Triple H WWE is kind of bad just because all of the major stars got breaks. Yeah. I just Like, I think Becky Lynch honestly would have had a longer break if Rhea didn't get injured. Was I was gonna say that was it's not even um fraction or it's technically she's in a fraction. I just hate when they bring these new people and then they start losing. Like, Kyrie Sane was brought up, and then she hasn't really, minus, like, the tag titles, she hasn't really got her big one. Like, I, like, that's one of the things I like about what they're, what NXT is doing with Ethan Page. Because, mm -hmm. like, he came, and, like, obviously he lost his match against Trick Williams. Mm -hmm. Because, like, they want to show that Trick Williams actually has progressed in the ring, which, to be fair, he has progressed mm -hmm. amazingly in the ring. But then, uh, he, uh, uh. They just had a uh, Ethan win against the number one contender for the oh, NXT okay. title. I guess that's not. <laughs> he just cut that off. Yep. Oh my god, that fucking spinning power bomb my ring ball there. Like if they, if it was something like that, how NXT has it, I'll be fine with it. It's just, oh they're back. Okay, they lost. Okay, they're not doing anything, and they're gonna keep losing. Oh, they might win this one, but like, ah, they're just gonna keep losing. Like it's kind of annoying. Like honestly, that's like. My biggest complaints with professional wrestling right now mm -hmm. is that there's too much good talent. Yeah. Like, WWE is starting to have the problem where they have too many stars to actually push them all when they deserve it. Mm -hmm. oh, crossroads. Obviously, AEW's had that issue since the fucking beginning because all they do is sign big stars from WWE. Yeah. At least with WWE, they've gotten a lot more bigger stars, but now it's kind of like, at least like, ish. But at least with AEW, it's like a just a new stuff. <laughs> Undashing Cody Rhodes just knocked fucking Rainbow and Adrian Buck's <laughs> heads together. Like, it's like, we signed this new star, they're winning matches. Oh, they lost one. They're never shown ever again. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, like, the biggest examples of that, in my opinion, are Mark Henry and, uh, Paul White. I, at least Paul White, I'm pretty sure he was signed to be, uh, a figurehead. Paul White signed to do matches. Oh, really? Yes. At least initially, he signed to do matches mm -hmm. because he was not getting matches in WWE. Also, Adrian Buck just didn't go to sleep on Kofi, Kofi and won the title. Oh my God! There's gonna be a have to be a four uh, fatal four way for the title. <laughs> Adrian Buck with a fucking massive gash in his hairline won the title from undashing Cody Rhodes. Disappointing match. I hope you get. <laughs> Ooh, classic. classic! Four and a half stars. But yeah, like that's that's my like that's my biggest problem with the AEW is that yeah. they just sign wrestlers because they're popular. I was gonna say Tony Khan just gets a fucking blank check from his father. Yeah. To be fair. He has a problem with that, but I feel like if I was him, I would do the exact same. Yeah. Oh, Okada, you're a free agent? Here's a million dollars. No, three million dollars, <laughs> actually. Sorry for that typo. Here you go. Yeah, I can only simulate it. Uh. Oh my god, CM Punk won. What? Roman <laughs> Reigns is injured until after the next pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, that's what I was going for, so... Uh... Hi. Even. Amazing booking. You had three robberies complete, I had four. And CM Punk and Reigns actually progressed more. <laughs> but he's injured now. 
yeah. at the halfway point of the season, I'll give a B. Some good shows for sure, but they haven't blown me away yet. I'm a. I'm not gonna say also, that. it's more than halfway through the season. Yeah. Man, what a. We go up. Man, what an end to the rivalry between Walking Wild and Gunther. Can't wait to see the aftermath. Can't rest up and recover quickly, Otis and Tiffany. Thank you. Yeah, like, Tony Khan just signs everyone that WWE releases, kind of. And it's gotten to the point where, like, it's literally a meme where they'll show up for, like, three three shows mm -hmm. and then won't be on TV for another year. Yeah. Which sucks. Like, I, I know they're definitely making that money, but, like, it's the same problem with people saying, oh, well, they're like, getting paid a lot. And the they... wrestlers are making a lot of money, but the promotion isn't. Yeah. Like, was it's the problem I have when people are like, oh, well, they're making a lot of money. Or I think it came out that there's, like, a minimum of, like, a hundred something for a wrestler at WWE. And everyone's like, oh, well, I would love to eat at catering. Like, yeah, they're making a lot of money. But some people live and die for wrestling. They want to wrestle. That's all they want to do. Dropping the bars. Of course, ECW got a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> but yeah, like... My, I'm my, winning. My biggest problem with AEW is that, like, there's no good storylines. No, there's... <laughs> I mean, like, here's the thing. They had MJF versus Adam Cole. I can't even joke about that because Adam Cole's still injured. Adam Cole got injured, and he's been injured for so fucking long. I can't believe that man injured himself. Ugh. Like, we want to talk about CM Punk getting injured. Like, CM Punk's back. <laughs> Adam Cole's been injured for way longer than CM Punk at this point. And all he, uh, all Adam Cole did was jump off the little ramp. <laughs> and like, I don't know if he's like actually injured or if it's still just storyline injured. I feel like I don't know. I, I feel like it, it, I've twisted my leg before. I don't I don't know what his injury is, but if he fractured one of his uh leg bones, that is a long injury to recover from. You know how the ramp goes like right here? Mm -hmm. The way the ramp was, he had like this much of where he could jump. So, so like, a two inch gap of where he could jump. Yeah. So like instead of just two, going three inch. instead of just finishing the ramp and going in the ring, he ran out the ring, then jumped. Um, jumped off that part, and then that's when he injured himself. Anyways, also, I'm, I, I'm the winner. The devil storyline was so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm the winner of this pay-per-view. I have... Fuck Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to end this, sh this <laughs> show. <laughs> I know we're trying to sh finish this, but like... I'm not finished with my hatred on AEW. Like, <laughs> they cannot tell a story to save their fucking lives. I don't care if they have 15 five-star matches in a night. They cannot tell a story to save their fucking lives. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways. I'm the winner. I, I don't think more than you, though. I don't care. <laughs> I'm the winner. With my LWO. Also, also you, you, you're only the... You would only be in first place even if I had more fans. Yeah. Because of your one season trophy. Hey man, don't hate the play, I hate the game. <laughs> you should know you're Ted DiBiase. I mean, fuck, I'm drunk. You're Ted DiBiase. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Teddy Long. I still think Teddy Long card should be. Uh, you can have your opponent go one on one against the Undertaker or something. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be sober by the next episode, but... I don't even know if we're going to do another episode right now. But so. that's, a, that's a thing I'll worry about in the next episode. We'll talk to y'all later. See ya.